Oh, there's that stupid boat again. You know what, boat? I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you at all. Go to hell. Oh, hello. There's something over here as well. Um, that boat is not a boat. That boat is a very big, very unhappy fish. How fast are you, fish? Can you beat me before I get to the dock? I bet you can't. Shoot, there's no actual dock there. Okay. Forming the duties of his office. Of Digby C. Caesar. Well, hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. I am Digby and today we are checking out a demo for a game I am absolutely excited to hopefully get my hands on next year when it comes out. Uh, yeah, we're going to be playing a little bit of Dredge today. Now, this is the demo and if you don't know what Dredge is, it's kind of a fishing game but it's kind of mixed with the Cthulhu mythos and it's very dark, very mysterious but very cool. I'm not sure exactly where it's meant to be taking place, but I suspect it's probably on the coast of New England, which is actually where I grew up and I currently live. And yeah, the art style is beautiful, the music is beautiful, you can probably hear it in the background. And yeah, I just cannot wait to dive into this one. So, you know what? Let's not wait. Let's just go. The morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. Okay. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. The man is actually pretty freaking hideous. Mayor, welcome to Greater Marrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Technically, dude, they kind of introduced themselves to me. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah, well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. I did actually see the lighthouse. I sort of crashed into it. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. Now, maybe it's just me, but it seems like the negative news is in red text and the like positive things are in green text. I don't know if that's an actual thing, but it's going to be fun to like find out. We'll kind of keep track of that. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Okay. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. Okay, do I... Yep, okay, so undock the boat. Okay, WSAD, as expected. Alright, the bubbles I assume are fish. Hold on, we'll just park on the fish here for a second. Okay, rotate the camera with blah blah blah, adjust height with the mouse wheel. Oh, no, adjust height that way, okay. Click settings for something. Move to a fishing spot, look for splashes on the surface, then press F to start fishing. Okay, how do we fish? Whoops. Um, do I have to hit F? Okay, there we go. I got it figured out. Okay, we caught a mackerel. Now, I do know that you have to actually stack your fish kind of like um, puzzle pieces almost. All right, well, you know what? Let's just... Whoops, I missed one. Okay, I got it. I'm not sure how, but that's fine. Do I have to hit all three? Oh, okay. So it's like one for the first one and then two for the second and three for the third. Well, no, maybe it isn't because now it, it's just two for that one. Oh, we're catching lots of mackerel. This is actually kind of cool because when I was a kid, we used to actually go fish for mackerel. Although I did trawling rather than uh, line fishing, but still, well, technically it's line fishing. But basically you just stuck your line out behind the boat and the mackerel sort of jumped up into it. Okay, let's fish. What do we got? I have no idea, but they're medium fish. And they're going to be a little bit harder to catch, I have a feeling. Okay, well you can stack in there. 
I'm pretty sure rotating is a thing. Oh, okay, so I got that one immediately. Okay, so we can rotate this way. That will give me that spot. What is the yellow? Is that a, like a... Oh, okay, it's a trophy fish. I got gotcha. you. So if you hit the yellow one, you catch the trophy fish. I can rotate that one back over that way. Okay, thank God it's been depleted because I actually don't have any more room for much in the way of fish on this boat. Uh, let's go a little deeper out. i make sure that... Alright, so the time is noon, so we got plenty of time. Okay, time only advances when you're moving. Something about it doesn't do it when you're fishing. That's good. Okay, these are probably the same fish. Well, let's see if we can let one get away. Maybe we can just go for a trophy fish. I'm kind of curious to see if you can fail. Nope, I got the fish anyway. Okay, can I throw him? Oh, actually, I got room for him down there. Hold up. We can put you down there. Now, can I please have a trophy fish? What if I just keep missing? Okay, is there a way to not fish? Alright, so every time I do that, they go... Oh, crap, you know what? Yes, let's just not fish. It's starting to get dark. I'm thinking we need to head back in, please. Wow, time actually goes by quite quickly. Select your lights by holding E, then toggle them with... Oh, okay, I see. That. I think. Wait a minute. Oh, no, there we go, okay. Oh, um, why is there a giant eyeball up the top? I just noticed that. Is that a thing that's there all the time? Okay, Doc is F. Yes, please. You step onto the dock at Greater Marrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head up to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you the replacement vessel, yours to own. Okay, so the red and the green are like good and bad news. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan, but I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. Alright, fair enough. So to recap, you'll need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt, and in turn, keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Okay, selling fish... Alright, hold on, where do I sell the fish first? The local fishmonger will appraise and purchase what you catch. He's open all hours. Off you go then, sell those fish while they're still fresh. Okay, so I just click on the fishmonger. Wow, he's a happy looking dude. You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. I would imagine it fills the air everywhere in this town. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. Um, what happened to the other one? He... It takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. That's not exactly informative, my friend. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more, too. Okay. Other towns on other islands might pay you different, but while you still got a debt outstanding here, I suggest you work on paying it off first. So let's see what you got. Okay, how do I sell? Sell all fish... 118.90. How do I just sell one fish? Because I want to know what, like, this is worth. Oh, okay. I just hit F on that. Okay, and they took... I got 18.69, and they took $3.30. All right, well, let's just sell off the rest of this lot. Yeah, it's 14 bucks paid off. Okay, so let's see what you got. All right, we're done. I just return to town now? The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger's store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here, I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could make something out of it. Why don't you take it? Okay, it's a research part. Chuck that down the bottom. Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. I am happy to do so. As you walk into the... Oh, she looks like Rosie the Riveter. As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Okay. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front, and everything takes time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from the rocks, or any damage at all, I can patch it up, mostly. 
Okay, they're kind of hinting at the whole Cthulhu thing. She shrugs and gestures toward the hull she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. They're not hinting very subtly, either. Take a look around, just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install, so plan ahead. Okay, can I uninstall this? Alright, do I have to repair? Do I have to install it over top of that one, maybe? Okay, that's 150 bucks. That would explain that. Alright, that's a skimmer. What have I currently got? I got a basic fishing pole. Alright, that catches shallow fish. Small spool makes for limited reeling speed. This is 75 bucks. Uh, you know what? Let's just go for it. Okay, install two hours, yes. Oh, I have to hold the button down. Okay, there we go. That's fine. I've got plenty of dark here before I can actually go out. Oh, I can uninstall that now. Perfect. Here, you can have that, lady, if you want it. Can I get... Oh, I can sell it for money, too. Nice. That wasn't so bad. That ended up only costing me 40 bucks. I actually might... Can I... I want to uninstall it really quick. I want to rotate it, and I want to stick it over here. I think that might be a better place to park it. Okay, now I can return to town. Oh, okay, so I just rest on here. I don't think I'm quite ready for night fishing yet. What's research? I got one research part. Oh, I see. I get to pick what I want to actually... Ooh. That's not available in the demo. That's not available in the demo. That's... A... But you can actually fish the abyss. Is there an abyssal one over here somewhere? Okay, volcanic, shallow, mangrave coastal, also not... Okay, so all I got's the... Oh, no, none of them are available. Well, that's too bad, but at least we do know what they do. Is there anything else I can upgrade? Pots? Like lobster pots? Nope, we don't have pots, we don't have nets. Okay, so research is not a thing, but... It's going to be very cool when it is a thing, because I like the way they've done that. X amount of parts unlocks one thing. Alright, you know what? Let's just go fishing again. Let's try a little bit further out for the money. Can I actually go, like, outside the reefs and everything? Looks a little bit dangerous. The waves seem to be a bit higher out there. However, we should get more money for fish. Oh, hold on. What's this? No, I'm not fishing yet. I want to know what the lighty uppy thing is. Okay, it's a message in a... Oh, um... Just relax. I want the message in the bottle. Collect the item, please. Okay, 21st August 1927 added to cabin. I think, really quick, we are going to fish. Hopefully I got the right rod for this. Can I fish? Yes, I can fish. Okay, it's disturbed water. It's medium. I don't have the right equipment. Crap. I don't like the sounds of that gurgling, if I'm honest. So, how about we head back? Please and thank you. I just need to make money so I can buy a decent rod. How about right here on the edge? Can I catch these big fellas? Hello, big guys. I'd like to catch you, please. Nope, that's oceanic. Can't do that one either. Oh, crap. I guess we're stuck fishing here in the bay. Hold on. Oh, I see. It's reeling it in every time I hit the green. Alright, I'm an idiot. That's alright. I'm an idiot with a gray eel. Hopefully, gray eels are expensive. Ooh, gulf flounder. New species. Perfect. Um, it's going to get awkward because I don't have a lot of room for him. All right, come here. Let's just dock at the... Whoops, I gotta hold F for that. Let's just dock. Let's go over and say hi to the fishmonger. A special order come through for a customer. If you fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal prices. Oh, yes, please. As for a gulf flounder, one gray eel. Well, you know what, dude? You are in luck, because guess what I caught? You'll need to have a rod that can handle shallow water, fish to catch those. I don't care. I've already sorted that. I do, in fact... Just leave whatever you have here. I'll keep the order on ice until it's ready to go. Well, there you go. Have a flounder. And have a gray eel. Okay, how much... Oh, I got 55 bucks for that. Thank you. Good, good. They should be pleased with these. 
I got another one here. This one's a little more curious. They want a couple of squid and a black grouper. Don't see many people fishing squid these days. They only feed at night. Well, you know what nights are like around here. Good luck. Okay, well, I guess we are going out at night. Assuming I make enough money selling all these damn fish to be able to... Okay, I got 162 bucks. I'm going to invest, I think, in the next rod. Okay, that one's shallow. That's coastal. Okay, yeah. I can't remember what he said I needed. That's shallow. I've got... Which one do I have? I have the simple skimmer. That's... Nope, that's the basic one. I cashed that in. That one there. Okay, so weighted line. This must be the next one up. Now, can I have two of these on here? So I can actually, like, fish shallow and weighted or whatever it is? It looks like I can, but I'm thinking I'm going to have to have a lot more storage at some point. Now, the question becomes, can we find some squid? I can't imagine there's much else out here at night. Yeah, yeah, I see you making the little alarm noise up at the top. Please tell me these are squid. Okay, I got coastal, don't I? No, I got shallow. Crap. Okay, well, you know what? I can't fish out here yet. I apparently need a coastal line, so let's just go back in here where it's safe. Bless you, kitten. Okay, I think she's done sneezing. Um, a hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Why are you here? I've come to fish. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. Well, thank you. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. Are you now somebody I can chat with? Nope, the mayor wants to have a chat. Just a person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Marrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? Sure. Happy to do that for you, bud. The mayor hands you a small, damp package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. I'm just going to tell myself it's fish. The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Okay, do I have a compass and map? Hold that thought. Let's look at the map. Oh, we do have a map. Okay, and he wants me to go to the little island, which is that one, I bet. I don't know how we do the compass. Ah, it's up at the top of the screen anyway. Okay, never mind, Digby, you're an idiot. Dock worker. Hmm, what? The delivery. Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Yeah, nice and fresh. This will do nicely, and I'm to pay you, I suppose. Yes, you are. He hands you some money. Thank you. 25 whole bucks. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use out of it. He pulls the crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat anytime. I know how lonely it can be. Now, I want to know, how do I go to my cabin... Okay, well, let's go to the... Oh, is it here? No, that's the... That's my storage. Oh, right there, cabin. Okay. What is this one here? Zero percent of selected as an active book, past time to read. I want the uh, message. There we go, that's what I wanted. We had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows at the back of Greater Marrow. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the... Oh, there we go. Beard and I struck the front of the boat. It did not penetrate the hull, but it jostled us around and a few items fell overboard into the water. We did not see what they were, which is of some concern, but we believe all important articles are accounted for. He has been checking over some notes from the boat re renaming ceremony. He is paranoid that he performed the steps incorrectly. I have never known him to be so superstitious. Okay, so if I go around the back of the island, there should be some stuff floating in the water, maybe? I mean, I'm a hope so. Sustainable fishing, um... Okay, how did it select it an active book, past time to read? Oh, you know what? I'm not going to worry about the books. i got to go fishing. I want to know where the friggin' good fishing rods are. You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques. The shelves are full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Hello, is that? No, I don't believe we meant. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? I do not, unfortunately. Okay, well, let's, uh, head back out, I guess. We can't, oh, 
Yeah, we can't exactly fish, but we should be getting back to the island right about daytime. And then I'm thinking we're going to run out back of it. Oh, hello. What's on fire? Um, oh, you know what? That looks like it might be a tornado, and it sounds like a really stupid idea. However, there's some crap over here. Oh, I can't dredge it. I don't have a dredger. Hello, there's a wrecked ship over here. Can I get close to it? Okay, inspect. All that's left of this boat is an old husk. You pull a little closer. All right, well, yeah, look inside. All right, we got some lumber. Not sure what I'm going to do with it all, but we definitely can use it, I guess. We got another research part. Not sure I want it. Oh, we have a citrine ring. Okay, yes, I'll take that, please. And an old iron chain. Good enough. Now, is there anything else out back of here I need to know about? Oh, there's a fishing spot. Can I fish? Do I actually have room for You know what? We're not fishing today. We're actually doing exploration and stuff, and then we'll go fishing. It is kind of nice to know, though, that there are fish out back as well. Let's try it. Oh, this is something we don't have. It's a uh, stingray. Hopefully I got room for at least a couple of them on board. Wow, okay. I got room for one of them on board. I don't think I can shoehorn another one in there. I tell you what, I'm willing to try it though. Let's move that over there for now. Um, actually, let's... No, I want to rotate that, thank you. This thing needs six in that space. Ah, oh, crap. You know what? I can move the citrine ring up here. I can rotate that there. No, I can't. I can rotate that. Oh, I can move this thing up here. And I can bob that down there. And I still cannot quite shoehorn it in. There we go. Okay, I got room for one more, I think. Unless I'm an incompetent idiot, that should fit right there. Okay, we didn't fish the hole out either, so the sustainable fishing thing can just calm the hell down as well. I'm going to guess that shipwreck... Ooh. How do I get in there? I want to know what that is. Can I actually exit my boat? Oh, it's telling me I can inspect it from here. Okay. A pile of loose debris clearing this would take some strong explosives. Well, shoot. Oh, that's how you toggle the lights. Okay. I'll leave them off for now because it's broad bloody daylight. Okay, I am back. We've got some stuff. i got to pay off 24 bucks. so let's see if the fishmonger wants my fish. Holy crap, those are 126 bucks a piece. Goodbye. Oh, and it was 126 bucks for the two of them, but that's 107 and I think I've paid my debt off. I believe. Nope, i got $5.50 left. God damn it. Alright, can I store stuff here at the dock? I can. Alright, ring, you can go... Lumber, you can go. I think since I can't actually use them at the moment, I'm going to just stick the storage stuff over there as well. So you have E-Lock go over there. And... Alright, what else we got in the cabin? We got another message. Morning of the second day of the honeymoon and our first day proper. Today we're sailing around the islands and inlets at the back of Great Amaro. I love the rocks here. The layers and colors are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in this shallow, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. He renamed the boat last night Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Um, it's actually supposed to be really bad luck to rename a boat. I mean, I don't know if it's true or not, but I do know it's a superstition. Okay, back to the note. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you'll want ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain. Ocean's Riches was a good name. I think he has prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I can see the basket half-hidden stuffed under a blanket at the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. Okay, so your husband was the uh, captain of whatever ill-fated vessel you were on. I'd like to pay off some of my debt. Yes, of course. How much would you like to repay? All of it. There we go. Five fifty. We're even. What was this thing here? 
old iron chain. I'm gonna just leave that there for now, but I'm gonna take the, uh, oh, hold on. The mayor is walking quickly towards me. He seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his step. Fantastic news. Thanks partly to your efforts. Greater Mayor is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. Yeah, don't hold your breath. In fact, I've granted a consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. This sounds promising. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger services. He might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad you've chosen to be here with us. Okay, shh. Oh, dry dock. Please tell me I can get more stuff in here. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. Okay. We're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, and even superior hulls. We need a decent stock of hard materials for these projects. Lumber, metal scraps, that sort of thing. Okay. Finding materials will allow you to upgrade How do I get them? Let me guess. There's plenty of decent materials around the coast from shipwrecks and like. I'm sure we'll find a way to get at them. Yeah, I already did. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored, so don't worry if you only have half of what we need. Well, what do you need? Upgrades. Uh, rod spaces. Net spaces. Not available in demo. Not available. Not available. Okay, is there anything in here I can actually use? That would be a no. It is getting kind of late. I may have to actually spend the night over here tonight. I say that like I'm not going to just go out in the middle of the bay in the dark anyway, because <laughs> I'm an idiot. I want to see Cthulhu. Okay, my storage and the trader. Trader dude. Welcome. Find anything special lately? Yes, I have. Sell all trinkets, 25 bucks. Whoops. I gotta remember to do that with the F button. Alright, there we go. That's done. Catchable fish types are shallow. Well, here's to hoping. Let's have a chat with the dock worker too, just in case. How's the day treating you? Okay, he's not very chatty. Never mind. Well, let's go fishing. Okay, something's swirling over here. Let's go investigate. Hello, mysterious swirly thing. Are you good for me or bad? Oh, it's fish. Yes, please. I'll fish in the weird fishing area. A black grouper. Oh, this is the thing I needed. All right, well, welcome aboard, my friend. I think it was only black grouper. I oh, what the hell? Tusk grouper. That it? Okay, well, that was fun. Bright lights and... Oh, exposure to fog, another thing increases your panic. Is that what the eyeball is? Am I panicking? I'm not panicking. I feel fine. Look at me. I'm having a grand old time out here. We got any fish for that order? Yes, I do. He wanted the black grouper. Oh, shoot. I don't have the two squid. Well, here's the black grouper. I'll try and find the squid tomorrow, I promise. Now, can I, uh... I want to sell my other fish. Oh, the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. Okay, dude. Ah, now this is the sort of specimen to liven up my day. Hmm, I wonder. He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish, as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of its stomach, and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open from its stomach. He pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. Handkerchief added to inventory. Well, I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing, and I'll pay you for the fish too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts, so I'm sure you'll find more before too long. I'll pay you well if you find any more. Okay, what is the handkerchief? Pattern with delicate crimson thread. Um, I will pick this up. I'm going to put it down here. I have no idea what it does, but hopefully it does something. A man is looking at you through your cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. I know what you took to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear, I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. Okay, well, you know what, dude? No time like the present. Let's head out. Oh, crap. Whoops. Hull damage, peculiar, image dis peculiar engine disabled. I'm thinking I should have been a wee bit more careful. Um, why are the rocks suddenly just showing up? I can't dredge. Okay, you know what? There better be a repair guy over here, because I am absolutely limping right now. It's 
Sustainable fishing. Reading complete. Check cabin for bonuses. I will in a minute. I have a feeling I want to get to shore here as soon as possible and park my friggin' boat. I say shore. It's technically a dock, but I would be very much happier if my boat was parked here. The man is standing in a doorway watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. You came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a collector of many things, art and artifacts, treasures and truths, and curios that occupy the periphery of desire. Doesn't sound creepy at all. And you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, this handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is providing to be challenging. Or proving to be challenging, sorry. That's where you come in. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks in dark depths. Oh, yes, please. Find me these lost relics and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. You could reward me with a new engine. <laughs> you need not give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? I accept, sir. Thank you very much. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. The collector tinkers with my boat. The relics we're looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, and a music box and key. I would encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences, anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Okay, well, I'm not going to be back for a little while, dude, because I have got to go get my freaking engine fixed as soon as possible. Although I tell you what, if we get a chance to dredge anything along the way, we're going to do it. Okay, start dredging. Shapes in the deep and it looks like a ring. Oh. Okay, what the hell am I doing? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I see. Okay, never mind. I just got to switch. I got you. Okay, took me a minute to figure out how to switch. Holy crap, that was difficult. Um, yeah, I'll take the one gold ring. I'm pretty sure that's the one the dude wants. Okay, now can I please go get my freaking boat repaired? Pretty please, with sugar on it. It'll make me feel so much better. What the hell is the giant purple column of light? Um, hold up, hold up. We gotta go investigate that. Hopefully it's still there when we get the boat repaired. Okay, fishmonger, I managed to catch some fish on the way. Yeah, just sell everything. Thank you. I'm gonna need all the money I can get because I gotta repair my freaking boat. Um, I'll get to you in a second, Lighthouse Keeper. Okay, your boat's looking a bit banged up. I can repair it. Repair everything for 30 bucks. Yes, please. Thank you. I've got an engine again. Okay. The Lighthouse Keeper wants to have a chat. The Builder wants to have a chat. Okay, Builder what? You approach a woman sitting on the dock side staring out at sea. She turns to you. What's it like out there? That's pretty peaceful so far. It's got to be a damn sight better in this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Okay. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward, moving along. Uh, oh, I can't go back. My boat's wrecked. She's gazing out to sea again, lost in thought. Say, if you find me some materials, maybe you can help me move. I mean, really move? There's an island I've heard about, Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all I need. I can make a new place for myself out there. You'd be welcome to visit, too. Okay. Just stack it up at Steel Point. When you have anything, I'll pay you when the job's done. Well, you're in luck, because I actually have... Two things of lumber. I got two research parts. That's maybe scrap? I don't know. You know what? I want to go look at the purple thing. Quick, before it gets to... Oh, yes, I got my thing. Lighthouse Keeper, I'll get to you in a minute. Hold on. I gotta leave. I gotta head out. Okay, boat, go. I want to know what the mysterious purple thing is. Okay, there's a boat out here. I don't trust the boat. I want to know what the friggin' lighty uppy thingy is. Oh shoot. Okay, boat's coming. Boat's coming. Hold up. I wonder what this is. F, dredge it. Whoop. Okay, look, stop, Digby. Pay attention to what you're doing. 
We'll worry about what else just happened in a minute. Okay, I got the ornate key. Thank you. I'm almost afraid to ask, what the hell happened to my boat while I was gone? I wasn't looking. Okay, apparently nothing happened to my boat. Alright, well, there's some more mysterious lighty-uppy thingies over here. Can I dredge it? Alright, well, whatever that is, I can't do anything with it. It's not making me very happy, that's for sure. Alright, fine, I'll go away, I'll leave you to it. Jesus. Okay, well, we got some salvagey stuff over here. Let's go hit that. Oh, hello, there's a bunch of weird birds coming for me. Guess what, guys? Don't care. You can hang out if you want. Great eel lost to the bird. Oh, they stole the freaking eel off my boat. Well, screw you guys. Bolt of cloth. Okay, what is this? A decent length of cloth is damp, but hasn't started to deteriorate yet. Okay, so I can renovate my ship. Oh, can I still dredge? There's more stuff here. Yes, please. Oops. Oh, for God's sakes. Pay attention to what you're doing, Digby. It's not rocket science. Alright. Another bolt of cloth. Is there anything else? Nope. Spot's been depleted. You enter the collector's house. He's standing at the back of the room, still holding the silver and crimson book. He seems impatient. Well, he can get over it. Well, you have something, don't you? Show me. Yes, I do. I hand him the key. The cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, like teeth. The teeth, the head. Now somehow seems changed smaller. Has it always been this way? Okay. Is this all? Where's the lock? Dude, I'm working on it. The collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we're looking for have traveled farther than I anticipated. Much farther, I suspect. But all the same, they must be found. I never said this would be easy. I suppose we'll see if you have what it takes soon enough. Raise the truth in dredge. Hold on. Okay, well that was handy. All I had to do was just hit continue and it put me right back here. Now can I fish for you guys? No, I cannot. Alright, well let's go see if we... Oh, I haven't dropped off the key yet. So the continue was right before I gave him the key. I think in that case, then, I'm going to go put the key in storage, and we're going to go do a couple of quests. Because I want to know what that... Uh, yeah, you know what? Might as well make a little bit of money while we're here. Alright. What do you want me to do again? Two units of lumber and two units of scrap. I have yet to find any scrap. Oops. Anything else? No, I'm done. I'm going to head over to... Whoops. Okay, Digby will eventually get the hang of leaving Dry Dock. Now, where is this greater Marrow Island of yours? Okay, I assume this is the place, yes? Ooh, there's some stuff over there I can dredge. Okay, material pile. Okay, so that's what scrap looks like. Well, I can do you this, at least. And I'll keep an eye out for scrap. You never know, there might actually be some over here. No, I want to leave now, thanks. In all this crap that we can go salvage. Oh, there's a whole shipwreck under there. That's kind of cool. Looks like there's something on it, too. Now, uh, yes, please. Whoops. Okay, this looks like it's going to be a lumber scrap, maybe? It's a lumber scrap. Hooray. I've already got one of those. You know what? I will dredge up another one just out of... Cur Whoops. Out of curiosity to see... If there's any metal bits after that or not. Okay, there's that, there's that. No, it was just lumber. Okay, can I just discard this stuff? Oh, yes, discard Z. I can't think of any reason I want it. Nope, Z, thank you. Now, rest of ship. You said I could dredge you. Yes, please. Ooh, it's a ring. I thought I already got the ring. Maybe it's a different ring. Oh, it's a chalice. It's not the ring. Okay, well, you know what? We'll take that as well. Now, do we see anything else out here in the mysterious dark of the night? Nope, I'm not even sure where the hell home is. I see some red, weird, glowy somethings over that way, so yeah, we'll go check that out. Oh, there's that stupid boat again. You know what? Boat, I don't want to talk to you. 
I don't want to talk to you at all. Go to hell. Oh, hello. There's something over here as well. Um, that boat is not a boat. That boat is a very big, very unhappy fish. How fast are you, fish? Can you beat me before I get to the dock? I bet you can't. Shoot, there's no actual dock there. Okay, we're headed this way. Assistant little cuss, I'll give him credit. Alright, weird glowy spot, what do you got? What is that over there? Okay, let's investigate. Yes, please. A slab of rock juts from the water bearing crude symbols of angular fish. At its base, a rough shape has been chiseled away. Do I have to actually find these fish and put them in this puzzle? Is that what I'm getting from this? Looks like it. Um, okay, that's probably not something I can do right now. I mean, it might be fun to try. Have we been out here already? Yes, we have. Okay, because we saw that shipwreck. Oh, it's daytime anyway, so we don't even have to panic anymore. All right, can you please have metal scraps on you? It's metal scraps. Please have multiples. Whoops. You know what? Digby's not going to do any good if you can't get him on the damn boat. All right, there's one and there's another one in there. Okay, there we go. That's what we wanted. We can complete the quest, hopefully. Nope, that's a research part. I don't want research parts. I want metal scrap, please. I only need one more. Come on, give me one more. There we go. Okay, we got all the metal scrap we need. And just because we're still here, and it's the middle of the night anyway, we might as well keep freaking seeing what else we get. All right, there's more. All right, spot's been depleted. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. I have no bloody clue where the hell I am. I assume home is over this way somewhere? Yeah, it's got to be where the lighthouse is. Yeah, we should be fine. Mayor. Oh my, you look exhausted. You're not forgetting to get some sleep, are you? Actually, I kind of am. I've been up for like eight days, I think. As I always say, taking frequent breaks is an important part of being productive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I'll deal with that in a minute. Right now, I gotta go to the fishmonger. I found this book out back. Could be useful to you. Fishmonger reaches on the counter and hands you a damp, battered book. A few shimmering fish scales are stuck to the cover. Oh, I didn't actually get any fish. Okay, never mind. Um, my storage. Well, you know what? We're gonna put the belt buckle in there. Got more freaking cloth I don't bloody need. I needed the two scraps. We got an extra research part. And I'll leave the oddball scrap in there as well. Okay, we got two scrap. I think we got everything the crazy lady needs. I'm gonna actually head over to her place. And drop those off. And then I'm gonna come back here. Grab some sleep. And then we'll see what else she needs. I wonder how far out to sea this game would let me go. Alright, lady, I'm back. I've finished your house. You've done it? Well, no sense in wasting time. Let's get moving. Lady, I haven't slept in like a week here, so... Alright, fine. Good riddance to you, Greater Marrow. I'm onward bound. You are indeed. In fact, I will get you there as quickly as I can. Hopefully, we can make it before dark. Oh, hello. We have a mysterious bubbly thing. Lady, I'm sorry. You're going to have to wait a minute because I am going to go fishing. A host eel. Okay. Oh, you again? Really? Okay, yeah, whatever. Yada yada yada. Bark bark bark. Wonk wonk wonk. Get stuffed. Oh look, you couldn't catch me before I got to the dock. Yes, yes, this'll do. Thank you, Pillar. You're welcome, dear. Give me a short while to get things built here. You're welcome back anytime. Okay. She reaches into her toolbox and pulls out a handful of components. Take these. Always good to have on hand. Okay, more scrap. Nice, not going to complain about that. I think we're going to get some sleep, and then I'm going to go back and see how much those weird fish are worth. And then we're going to try something stupid. Okay, well, one more thing I want to find out before we end this video. I want to know how far out to sea this game is going to let me sail.
Entering uncharted waters, turn back. No, you can't make me turn back. Oh! I stand corrected. Yes, it can make me turn back. <laughs> uh, okay, well, there's that question answered. I don't know if I did any damage. Did I lose anything in my inventory? I did not. Ah, uh, I tell you what, this game is absolutely amazing. The graphics are completely gorgeous, the music is incredible, the atmosphere and the story are just everything you could possibly want from a game. And yeah, I am completely in love with this demo, I cannot wait to play the actual game. And yeah, as always I have been Digby, I thank you guys for stopping by, I really hope you guys enjoyed this look at Dredge. Hopefully you guys did, because I imagine it will be on the channel someday. And yeah, I hope to see you for the next one.